Hey guys, welcome and welcome back. My name is Mary Elizabeth, which some of you may know, and if you don't know, hey. Today I am making over my linen closet, which is very exciting because Casa Me, that's my house, has been very neglected for a little bit. I know you guys are wanting a house tour, room tour, any kind of tour, which I promise is coming, but I'm gonna start doing more and more projects again. I actually have to do my whole bedroom over again. So that's part of the reason I haven't done that. I've always loved it when people painted the inside of their cabinets in their kitchen or in their china hutches, and I just thought it would be a really cute opportunity to get to do that in my hallway because finally I have a linen closet. I chose a semi-gloss finish for the paint because it's similar to a bathroom and you can wipe it off and clean it super easily. And I got a really cute light pink color and it really complements and matches that wallpaper perfectly. I also chose instead of a small roller to do the square and that was a lifesaver because you could really get into those corners and it made it super easy to cover the space in a small amount of time. My linen closet was a bit of a catch-all for everything, so it was really helpful to pull everything out and just kind of start from scratch, what I need in there, what I don't need in there, and then have the following bins hold all that stuff. I chose to take my black plastic baskets and just spray paint them white. It just kind of added to it being light and bright and feeling new and fresh, and I didn't have to buy anything new, so score. If you have a similar area to do this, I think it would work really well in a bookcase as well. I would recommend taking out the shelves I didn't have that option. I just measured the best I could with the wallpaper. I do rent, so I wanted it to be something that could easily come off or come on. So I use these little scotch restickable tape. And I put the big part that you mostly see as the big sort of seamless and then added a couple little seams on the side that you just don't notice as much because of the basket. They worked for a little bit and then they started to kind of come off and add a little bit of kind of a battle with them. So I ended up taking little tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny nails and just adding them in various places to sort of hold it on. And once I did, it held this place really well. I would never do that on a wall. I would never do that on a big space you saw all the time. But I think inside of the cabinet just kind of works. It's just so cute and so happy in there and so organized. And when things are organized, they spark joy for me. And maybe everything isn't exactly, exactly perfect, but it's inside of a closet, I didn't want to drive myself crazy, and I just wanted it to be a fun project with a lot of impact. And let me just tell you, if I had chose to be perfect, I would still be in there doing it and I wouldn't be having any fun at all. And that closet would remind me of the worst time of my life. My linen closet went from being this horrible, scary catch-all to being a space that's super organized, looks beautiful, and actually makes me feel better when the doors are open than when they're closed. Design doesn't have to be serious, it doesn't have to be complicated, it can just be really fun and if it makes you happy, I think that's the most important part. I'm telling you, that's the happiest linen closet I've ever seen. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this inspires you for new projects in your home. If it does, I would love to see them. Please tag me on Instagram at HeyMaryElizabeth or Twitter at MaryElizabeth and if you have any questions for me, you can tweet me at MaryElizabeth on Twitter or you can email me hello at MaryElizabeth.com. Basically, I want to keep in touch. I love y'all, and I don't know. I feel like we're building a community and taking over the world, man. We're going to make it fabulous. See you next time. Bye.